is the best time to buy a car here in Canada and that's our today's discussion. So if you are immigrating here in Canada, when is the best time to buy a car? That's our today's discussion. But before we start, click the subscribe button and share this video because sharing is caring. Anyway, more up on this video, we will talk about buying cars. If you're immigrating here in Canada, maybe you're thinking about buying your own car. So anyway, mga kap, anyway mga kap, one thing that I want you to remember before buying a car is two factors. Two important factors that you need to remember before buying a car. Number one is the credit score. The lower the credit score, the higher interest rate. So that's one thing that I want you to remember because this credit, the credit score is one of the factors that you need to consider when buying a car. Again, the lower the credit score, the highest interest rate. Since you are coming here in Canada as a new immigrant, you're coming here in Canada from different places around the world. Maybe you're from India, maybe you're from the Philippines. So when you come here in Canada, you don't have a credit score. The reason why is you don't have trace, you don't have track record, you, you don't have spend, you, you didn't spend anything, you don't have mortgage here. That's why your credit score is low. So as a new immigrant, your credit score is low. So what will happen now if you're going to buy a car here in Canada, your interest rate will go up. So maybe expect 10% 10, 10 interest rate if you're going to buy a car on your first year. The reason why I'm saying this because based on my experience, when I came here in Canada, I went to the car dealers and every time they showed me the interest rate, it's always up to 10% or more because they mentioned to me that because of my credit score. You, you don't have an established credit score. And the second factors that I want you to remember before buying a car is the insurance. Maybe in your own country, maybe in the Philippines, you don't have a car insurance. Maybe you have a car insurance, but it's one year paid. But here in Canada, the car insurance is monthly. So you're going to pay it monthly. So just imagine if you have a new car, you're going to pay the monthly mortgage for your car plus the car insurance so always remember mga kap that the month the insurance is monthly month to month so anyway the car insurance po mga kap there are several factors with regards to the price maybe wondering how much i'm going to pay with my car insurance it varies it varies from different factors number one where you're located if you are in the downtown or the city the, the insurance insurance will going up if you don't have a history as a driver it goes up if you have incidents or accidents the insurance goes up so those are the factors that you need to consider and i also hear it depends on the car if the car is prone for accident um, the insurance goes up to prone for accident and then the car insurance goes up. Another thing that you need also consider is the distance of your home to your work. Usually, the longer the distance, the insurance goes up. So those are the considerations that you need to consider when you are buying car. Again, credit score and the car insurance. Car insurance sometimes is higher than your monthly bills. That's very true po mga kap. So sometimes, you're able to get maybe a $200 a month of second-hand car. But then when you have your car insurance, sometimes you're going to pay $400 a month. That's very true. And I have some friends, and when they're able to buy a car, the car insurance are so expensive. They're paying around $400, $450 monthly just for the car insurance. So those are the two things that I want you to consider before buying car, the credit score and the car insurance. So the best time to buy a car. My answer to that question is, number one, 
establish your credit score. That's the main thing. You need to establish first your good credit score. Establish your credit score. Because once you establish your credit score, you can buy maybe brand new. You can buy second hand in a car dealer. Or maybe you want a leasing. So once you have a good credit score, you can now go to the car dealers and the interest rate, the interest rate will be lower. Again, credit score is low, the interest is high. The credit score is perfect or good, then the interest rates go down. That's one thing that I want you to remember. And that's the identifier. That's the main thing that you need, okay? I have a credit score, maybe this, this is the right time to buy a car. That's it for my video. So that's my tip when, 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 is, the, when is the right time to buy a car. And I hope I'm able to help you and give you an idea when is the best time to buy a car. So see you in our next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.